A Bangladeshi court has upheld a death sentence for the leader of Jamaat-e-Islami over his involvement in 1971 war crimes. The judge upheld the sentence against Mota Rahman Nizami, who was convicted in 2014, alongside four other defendants. Bangladesh says the group collaborated with Pakistani forces, which killed three million people and raped 200,000 uh, during the conflict. A fifth defendant was sentenced to life in prison. Well, let's get more on this now from uh, David Bergman, who joins us live from the capital, Dhaka. Um, David, what exactly is the significance then of what happened in court today? Well, this is the last legal avenue for Moti Umar Nizami, who was the leader of the largest is Islamic party in Bangladesh, the Jamaat e Islami. Um, now it is certain that he will be hung, um, and uh, this will take place in a matter of days. This was a review application following an appeal which he had lost, and he has got three charges of death sentence that he will now have to uh, suffer. So what's the reaction likely to be uh, across the country to this news? Motu Rahman Nizami kind of represented the, the worst of the collaborationist forces in Bangladesh. He was the leader of the Jamaat e Islami, which was a party that uh, is alleged to have collaborated with the Pakistan military during the 71 war. And he is alleged to have been the head of a force called the Al Bada, which, uh, 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 which took part in a number of different atrocities. So, amongst many people, there will be celebrations that finally uh, this justice has been done. However, of course, there are others who view the tribunal process as unfair, and there will be certainly a perception by others that this is not justice done properly, and there will not be the kinds of celebrations. So, although the majority of people, I think, will be celebrating this verdict, others will not be quite so celebratory. And, and what impact is it likely to have on the actions of the group jamaat e islami so, Moti Omani's execution will be the third execution of individuals uh, following conviction before the International Crimes Tribunal. And indeed, there's a, a couple of other individual leaders of the Jamaat Islami who in the future may well also be executed for crimes committed during the war. The leadership of the Jamaat has effectively been removed, the older leadership. Um, so, what will happen to the Jamaat e Islami, which already has been uh, uh, subject to significant political repression by the government, um, is unclear. They are at the present remaining pretty quiet politically, um, but a new leadership of younger people um, who are not connected to the 1971 war and the alleged atrocities conducted by the party is likely to emerge. Okay, David, thank you very much. David Bergman there in Dhaka.